Founded in the 7th century, Gori is one of the oldest cities in Georgia. Over the years, it's been a target of Byzantine, Mongol, Persian and Ottoman invasions. As recently as 2008, it was bombed by Russia, who occupy a territory just kilometers from Gori's historic castle, a symbol of the perpetual conflict here. However, Gori's mixed history is often usurped by the personal history of one man who was born in the city. His name was Joseph Stalin. In the heart of Gori is a museum dedicated to the former Soviet leader, which edges towards hagiography as much as history. To some locals, Stalin was a revolutionary who instigated rapid industrialization in the Soviet Union. To others, he was a brutal dictator under whose reign over 40 million people were killed or forcibly displaced. Another gory local attempting to forge a more positive image for the city is freestyle wrestler Vladimir Kinchigashvili. The 26-year-old has gone unbeaten in major competitions since winning the 2015 World Wrestling Championship in Las Vegas. That success improved my confidence and my belief in myself. Since winning the world title, I haven't stopped. I feel unbeatable. That win made me acknowledge that I was talented at the sport and that I had the skills required to achieve things in wrestling. With that victory, I became the best in the world, and that really improved my mentality. Besides having the physical attributes and the tactical know-how, you need to have a lot of self-belief to be successful in wrestling, and I have that now. Wrestling is in Vladimir's blood. His father, Yorgi, was a junior world champion in the sport. Growing up, the pair used to play wrestle at the family home or splash about in the river close to where they lived. However, when Vladimir was just eight years old, his father tragically passed away after suffering a heart attack. As with all fathers and sons, we were incredibly close to one another. I remember everything from when I was that age. I remember how he would carry me in his arms. I remember how it always pleased me to be in his company and to see the respect and the love that everybody had for him. When I look back, I realize that he was a great man. And yes, I miss him. Following Yorgi's death, Vladimir's mother, Kateva, encouraged her son to take up wrestling himself as a means to ease his grief. My husband had created a name for himself in wrestling, and I wanted that tradition to continue in the family. Vladimir and his father were very similar, so I encouraged him to pursue the path that his father never got to. Thanks to God, we were blessed with a very hard-working and determined son who threw himself into the sport. It was a good distraction for him. He was so passionate about making his surname, the name given to him by his father, well known around the world. He really wanted to fulfill the dreams that his father never got to accomplish. With the support of his mother and wider family, Vladimir has become one of the most formidable wrestlers of his generation. He currently holds a European, world and Olympic title in freestyle wrestling. Freestyle wrestling has featured in every edition of the Olympics since 1920. Along with athletics, it's recognized as one of the world's oldest organized competitive sports. But that's not to say that the Georgian team stick to traditional training sessions on the mats. Although a bit of fun, this hybrid game of rugby and basketball centers on agility, coordination and tactical awareness, skills that Vladimir has successfully demonstrated in wrestling. However, it's Vladimir's mentality that has most impressed his coaches over the years.
He's still very young. He's a very focused and hard-working person, which gives us lots of confidence for his future. He's won everything there is to win. The national championship, the European title, the world title, not to mention the Olympic Games. But he keeps working to improve and be as successful as he can be. He's already at the top, but even after winning the Olympic gold, he got back to training immediately, ready for the next challenge. Since the Rio Olympics, Vladimir's time has been in high demand. He gets regular media requests and he's attended multiple functions. His name is now well known throughout Georgia and amongst the wrestling fraternity, which was one of his chief ambitions following the death of his father. I think he would be very proud of me for simply doing my best. Of course, he played a huge role in my life, as he wasn't only my inspiration for getting into wrestling to begin with, but he's actually been a big motivation for me during tournaments. With him in my mind, wrestling has been my only priority, and I'm pleased to realize my dreams. Having gone up a weight division in search of new challenges, Vladimir is carefully plotting his next move towards further medals. Throughout his life, wrestling has provided him with an outlet during his low points. And considering that he's just 26, the best could be yet to come from Kinchigashvili Jr. I love wrestling because it's very similar to life itself. You have to fight to make a success of yourself. Without fight, you'd get nowhere. It's an individual sport too, so how well you do depends on what you're willing to put in yourself. So wrestling is what motivates me, and I'm learning a lot about myself and about life as I do it.